Hello everyone and welcome. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching the previous videos. So in this video we want to get Laplace transform, inverse Laplace for this function, lin s square plus 4 over s square minus 9. We don't have an inverse Laplace for lin, so we need to remove lin from the equation. You know that to in, in order to remove len, you need to do differentiate. So if you have len, for example, um, len 3x squared plus 1, if you differentiate this, so for example, d by dx, 1 over the function, Then multiply by the derivative of the function, 6x. So now you have a function without lin. This is the same thing that we're going to do. Okay? Very well. Let's see how we can make this. So first, let's just assume that f of s is equal to lin. Also, before we know that len anything like that divided, for example, a over p, this is equal to len a minus len b. Okay, this is a rule. Okay, good. So f of s, as now we can change that into this. len s square plus 4 okay okay then you're going to minus len s square minus 9 okay very well we have just have proved that we can remove len if we differentiate both sides so differentiate both sides with respect to ds Okay, that equal to 1 over the function s square plus 4 multiplied by a function, the derivative of the function, minus 1 over the function s square minus 9. Okay, multiply, then you put this one to s. Because the derivative of s squared is 2s, and the derivative of any constant is 0. Very well. If you can remember, we know a rule that looks like this. If we multiply by minus 1, both sides, we'll have minus d over ds remember this is refers to, to t okay equal to 2s over s square minus 9 minus 2s s square plus 4 remember with me that this is a function if we want to get inverse Laplace we know that we know the inverse Laplace of this function so if you take inverse Laplace of both sides if you take Laplace inverse Laplace for both sides d over ds f of s that is equal to inverse Laplace of the other function 2s over s squared minus 9 minus 2s over s squared 
plus 4. We know the inverse Laplace now for this function. The inverse Laplace of this is t of t equal to. The inverse Laplace of this is the cosine because in the denominator right there is minus a square minus omega squared. This is this is cosine because there is also s in in the denominator. Okay. So it's going to be 2 cosine omega t. Omega is square root of this, so 3t. Minus s squared plus, so this is cosine. Or cosine. And the 2 right there is constant, so put it out. s over s squared plus 4 is cosine omega. Omega is the square root of this, so 2. Cosine 2t. Okay? Very simple. So f of t, you're going to divide it by t. This is the inverse of this that we want to get. Of all this is f of t. So 2 cosine, or you can just put 1 over t, multiply by 2 cosine 3t minus 2 cos cosine 2t. Okay, that's it. Very well, nice, right? So in the next videos, we're gonna we're gonna discuss how to use the partial fraction to get inverse Laplace of the function. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.